All right, 2017 International HX. Um, this one's got the uh, Cummins ISX. We're talking about the starting circuit, the clutch interlock uh, switch. And uh, there's a wiring diagram for you that you can look at. This is the switch assembly that sits up above the clutch pedal. So it mounts in there like this with the uh or sorry no it mounts in there yeah like this um and the switches are on the bottom and you got these two antennas so naturally the clutch arm will be depressing this back switch and then when you press down on the clutch uh it puts this in a resting position and it clicks this one forwards so i was told that this one back here is the cruise control switch and this one here is actually the shift interlock switch so this is the one that matters um, now these are pretty expensive uh, if you have the hookup through international and you get a deal it's like 280 bucks for the switch assembly which is just this long antenna piece with the switch in it but you can actually buy just the switch on like amazon for like 30 bucks and you have to have some know-how on how to fix it or uh, replace it. But I just had like some small screws and uh, I shaved off these rivets, pulled the top cover plate off, removed the switch, put the new one in, put these machine screws in there that actually, uh, or sorry, they're like coarse thread, actually threaded into the, uh, this backing plate quite well. And, um, yeah just make sure it works before you put it back together really really cheap way to do it took me about an hour totally worth it so um but yeah in order to get to this thing you have to remove a bunch of obviously covers so take like a floor mat out of the way then the first thing you're gonna do is take this side panel trim piece off that sits up here and a bunch of the panels sort of overlap each other so this one comes off and then you've got a piece that goes across here that covers the diagnostic port and your ignition. But it, that like overlaps um, this outer one. So here's the pieces. You can see this is the one that's got your ignition. And then the other one with the data link port is uh, this one here. So they actually, there's two clips there. They actually snap together like that. So I get this like pried off and then just pull this one off. There's three push pins on the side panel here, here, and here. And then for this one, you're just gonna have a bunch of pressure clips all in the top. And those two on the side that link these panels together along with, should be uh, probably some Torx screws on the bottom. Um, my torque screws were gone and we just had Phillips screws, but I guarantee you that you're going to have torques on yours and, uh, then you can get that off. This one is the tricky one to get off and it is, uh, above like by the gas pedal and the brake pedal. And in order to get this out, um, you have to remove this piece. This is the side trim that sits up against like the whole center console with the radio stack and all that stuff. So there was, I found two screws here. There's little Torx screws. Um, and they are this size. We got uh, T20. So it's either T15 or T20. T20 seemed to fit, but they seem a little worn out. And then once you take those screws out, this whole piece just slides out like this. So you can see a bunch of clips here, here, and here. Just use a trim tool or a screwdriver or something to get in behind and then pull it out. So once this comes off, then you can get this off, except there's one other thing that's gonna screw you as far as getting this out. And you're gonna find the steering shaft comes up here and you just won't be able to get it out. So you have to put your steering wheel at 12 o'clock and you might wanna put like a strap or a seat belt or something through it so it doesn't spin. But just be careful, go ahead and remove this bolt and uh, there is like a slot in the steering shaft I'll show you where the bolt passes through to like keep keep it uh, lined up and 
nuts right here. You can see that slot that's in there. So when the steering shaft's up there, the bolt goes through, whatever. Um, I use a Sharpie just to mark it so I know where it goes back on. But yeah, like I say, don't spin your steering wheel around when you get that off because you'll mess the clock spring up um, and whatever else is in there. So yeah, once we get that off, then we can go ahead and pull that cover piece out. It's pretty simple. It just literally the gas pedals here. You just pull this thing out like that. And then we can access our switch. There's uh, two connectors. One's black, one's white. The black one will have three wires. The white one has two. That's these ones here. Uh, this one has like a, a lift up style uh, locking mechanism on the connector on the body side. And then this one, you have to push down on the end of this white tab and then slide it out. It's a bit more of a pain in the ass, but once we get those off, then you can actually go ahead to remove the switch assembly. And there's two 10 millimeter bolts that go in there. And these nuts are secured to the bracket itself. So that was nice. I thought they would just spin. The shitty thing about these switches is they're nuts and bolts. So if you try to just use a screwdriver and go from underneath, the nut will just spin. So you have to get up there and hold it. And then also too, there's so many airlines and stuff in your way that you can do it. I've done it, but it's such a pain. I end up cutting my fingers and my hands trying to get up in there. And there's lots of little sharp edges. Like all these are sharp. So then you can just wiggle the, the starter switch out. Just careful. We don't want to uh, pry on these too much, right? So that's how you get it out. I'm um, sorry I'm not actually showing you physically me taking it out, but that's how you do it if you follow those steps. It's really not hard. I just wanted to give you a little bit of insight. You can take those switches out in probably 30 minutes. And then, uh, like I say, if you want to buy a switch, a micro switch, they're available on Amazon. Uh, the, the clutch one is a three terminal. So... Um, I don't actually have the old one. I think I threw it out. Otherwise, I'd show you. Might leave a link in the description below for you to go buy one. But they're not very expensive. Compared to the uh, one, the, the international one, it's outrageously expensive. So um, that's pretty much it. So if you have any questions, throw them in the comment section below. I'd be glad to answer any questions you have. Like the video. Hopefully this helps. Subscribe for more content, and we'll catch you in the next one.